Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Um, just take a step back there, at least one metre from the TV screen. We're practising social distancing here. Here we are with my lockdown series part two on stacking jeans. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Enchi. Now I think everybody will remember seeing this girl on uh, Predator BP. This is my pastel Enchi just to show you what Enchi looks like and Enchi is the uh, banded pattern on the uh, on the snake here um, the Enchi head stamp is a butterfly head stamp and the widening eye stripes uh, it's pastel that's keeping this girl really really bright but you can see the Enchi is uh, much more banded than a normal and you will remember that when we put Enchi into clown this is a reduced pattern Enchi clown uh, you can see that uh, the Enchi here has a slightly different expression we still get some banding but typically the Enchi now just produces this dorsal stripe on this reduced pattern Enchi so Enchi responds quite differently and the reason that I'm showing you this snake is because I want to show you what Super Enchi looks like. So this is a Super Enchi, it's actually lesser Super Enchi so it's a little bit lighter. You can see the browns are much uh, lighter brown than they otherwise would be. Uh, you can now see the eye stripes at the back of the head here have actually joined up behind the head so this is Super Enchi two copies of the Enchi gene in this animal and you can see the banding is much much stronger than in the uh, single copy so let's just compare the Pastel Enchi to the Super Enchi so this is Pastel Enchi and lesser Super Enchi and you can see that the Single copy of Enchi still has some lines that join up along the dorsal, so not completely banded, it still does have a dorsal stripe. You can see now that the Super Enchi does not. That's disappeared completely and all that we get is the, uh, the banding. There is no more dorsal stripe on the Super Animal. So. Super Enchi, two copies of the Enchi gene instead of just one copy, I think would look really nice in this Enchi clown. So just to put them side by side so that you can see, the single copy of Enchi does this to the clown. The uh, Super Enchi has an even more banded pattern and I would expect that the Super Enchi version of the clown you would start to see that the dorsal would be broken and you would probably be left with just some spots along the dorsal so you would end up with a very orange clean looking clown with the head stamp but with a much more broken dorsal so this is Enchi Clown we've taken a look at the Pastel Enchi and this is the Super Enchi version that I think would look really really nice in the clown we're going to look at fire. So this is fire, another gene that I'm working with. And you can immediately see the pattern on the dorsal uh, is a pattern reduction. Fire is a pattern reduction, but you can also see the color and the head stamp is brighter than you would expect from a normal so fire is also a colour enhancer. Let's just get out our normal to compare. Here is our normal and you can see how much lighter the uh, fire is than the normal. Uh, you can see the pattern down the rear of the snake here is much much reduced as opposed to the normal in the center which is much duller a 
has a much darker head. You see the head stamp on the fire. It's quite light. So this is the Fire Dune, which is a pattern reducer and colour enhancer. And you can see that in comparison to the normal. Because Fire is a colour enhancer, it goes extremely well with pastel. So this is a Fire Fly, which is just pastel fire. You can see the similarity in the pattern. Again, we're getting the pattern reduction. And we're getting the brightness from the pastel. Let's just compare that to the original fire. So here we are together, the original fire and the fire fly. And you can see the similarity in pattern, the pattern reduction, but also the brightness from the pastel in the fire fly. And Fire lends itself very well to uh, mixing with pastel because it is a colour enhancer so it tends to bring out the best in pastel rather than the worst. So what jeans would work well with fire? Let me bring out my orange dream yellow belly and put it next to the fire and you can see the similarity in the pattern reduction. So what I'm looking for here in terms of a mix of genes is two genes that are going to enhance each other rather than fight each other. And you can see from this snake and this snake that the pattern and the colour are actually going to be an enhancement. They're going to complement each other rather than fight each other. So fire with Orange Dream is an excellent combination. So what other genes do we have where we see a pattern reduction and brightening that would enhance rather than fight this fire gene? And there we have it. This is the Pastel Enchi. And you can see from the look of these snakes that they complement each other perfectly. So fire and Enchi together would be a very good combination to enhance the qualities of both snakes. What I'm looking for here are genes that complement rather than fight each other. So the fire energy combination would be really good. Now we've already seen what Enchi does in Clown. This is my Pastel Enchi and my Enchi Clown and we already expect to see a uh, pattern reduction in the transfer of the gene to the clown. So let's take a look at what fire does in clown. So this is firefly, pastel fire, and this is what fire looks like in clown. This is a fire clown and you can see the similarity in the pattern but again, it presents slightly differently in Clown in that we have a pattern reduction even further from the uh, original Fire Male. So this is a Fire Clown. Let me just put the Fire Fly away. And you can see the uh, gorgeous head stamp on this guy. And Fire leaves a little bit of pattern down the sides of the animal unlike Enchi where we saw a very similar pattern reduction from the original snake but Enchi removes everything from the uh, from the sides so fire still has a little bit of banding very very high contrast dorsal and also extremely bright you can see the color of this snake is uh, quite bright and this is my pastel Enchi female and you can see this girl in comparison to the male is very very bright just look at that gorgeous head stamp there guys she is very very bright yellow she has the reduced pattern but you see that pastel has introduced a little bit of muddiness down the sides of the animal so the idea of pairing these two animals here is to use the fire to clean up some of this muddiness 
and leave a snake which is just very very bright yellow down the sides clean all of this up we would expect to see a pattern reduction too fire and Enchi both reduce pattern this pairing has been done before of course it's been done before the uh, result is the uh, vertebrae or firefly Enchi clown and this would have been a pairing that I would have liked to have done this year but unfortunately the female's not up to size so the pairing will have to wait for next year but uh, this is also one of my dream pairings the fire clown male to the pastel enchi clown female to try for the vertebrae or firefly enchi clown awesome pairing okay so um, let's take a look at a snake now that uh, has a combination of genes in it um, and let's see if you can guess what those genes are a um, little bit of a test hope you've been paying attention so now without knowing anything else about this snake let's see if we can work out from the characteristics that we've seen already in our other snakes what genes are in this animal okay we can see from the head stamp and the white lips that there is pastel in this animal it is quite yellow and bright and looking at the overall softness of the color and the fact that this animal is so bright it is actually just going into shed but we can have a guess that it contains vanilla looking at some of the other vanilla animals that we've looked at um, this is a dead ringer for vanilla you can see the dorsal stripe broken up here we can also see floating alien heads here 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 the alien heads are floating along the flanks of the animal let's just take a look at the other side again you can see floating alien heads which is characteristic of Mojave and the alien heads have been modified into this banded pattern and you can see the alien heads here actually run up onto the dorsal and start to bleed down to the other side you can see the banding in here if we have a look at the animals eye stripes you can see the widening eye stripe that ten tries to join up at the back of the head Enchi we've seen that before in Enchi so this is actually a pastel Mojave vanilla Enchi and I think now with having seen some of the other animals that I've shown that that is fairly easy to pick out most of those genes okay. now you remember yesterday in my part one when I talked about Orange Dream and Calico and uh, not particularly liking the orange dream calico combinations and I said this okay now we're gonna take orange dream and add calico and calico is the gene that uh, pulls white up the up the sides up the belly of the snake there if you look at the flanks of the snake you can see the salt and peppering going about halfway up the snake and for my money calico doesn't really work very well with orange dream uh, it's too dark and it spoils some of the effect that orange dream has orange dream has uh, some really nice blushing which you still have on this guy here you see some blushing there uh, but you have lost a lot of the blushing effect because of the white sides so not a huge fan of calico in orange dream well Robert Whittier of uh, coaches Royal Reptiles uh, reached out to me on Facebook and sent me some uh, pictures showing me that the belly flames on Orange Dream with Calico are not necessarily wiped out with the Calico and uh, we had a bit of a conversation and then he sent me some more photos uh, so this is just a little bit of a teaser and I hope to be able to get permission uh, to be able to use those photos but um, some really awesome Orange Dream calico combos 
Okay guys, that's it for part two. Uh, part three will uh, follow shortly. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, one of my clown projects and uh, a clutch of siblings to look at the variation. So stay safe, stay at home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.